Okay, so you are on page 71. We're applying sets to numbers and functions and Venn diagrams. Vocabulary we're going to start with first. A set is a collection of distinct objects. Each object in the set is called an element or member of the set. If that's not making sense to you right now, that's okay. I'm going to give you an example here in a minute of what that would look like. Let me move this so you can see that example. Here would be an example of a set and elements of a set. Let's take the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This whole thing would be called the set. So I'm going to circle it. This whole thing would be called a set. Each number is an element or member of the set. So for example, the number 1 would be called an element of that set. You can use set notation to write a set by enclosing the elements of the set in braces. You can see I did that here. I, these little things that you can see I'm pointing at are called braces. Two special sets are the empty set and the universal set. A set with no elements is called an empty set and is, is written as a zero with a slash through it. So it would look, you can see it here in the book, but let me write it out bigger. This would mean an empty set. We have no elements in the set. A set with all the elements is called the universal set, and it's written with a U, but it's specially written with little kind of bars over the U like that. That means we have all the elements in the set. Here would be a good, a good example of a set. Think about if you collect baseball cards and you have every Detroit Tiger player in the set. That would be considered the universal set if I have all the cards in that set. Or let's say I collect Detroit Tiger cards, but I don't have any of them yet. Does that make sense that I'd have an empty set in that case? Two other terms we have to know, union and intersection. The union of two sets is when we combine all the elements of each set together, and it's written in this manner. Oop, i got to turn this layer off. It's written in this manner, A union B. This little U stands for union. The intersection of two sets is the set of all elements that are part of both sets at the same time. And you notice the symbol for intersection is an upside down U. Now these pictures aren't really a good representation of, in my opinion, of what union and intersection is. I mean, they kind of give you the idea. Union is combining everything together. Intersection is only what you have in common. So here might be a better example. Let's say we have two people. We got Sam and we have, um, we'll put Sam and Joe, okay? And they're sitting side by side at desk. Sam brings to class a pencil Turn this on. Sam brings a pencil to class. He brings a pen. He brings a ruler and a calculator. Joe brings his book. Joe brings a pencil. Joe brings a ruler. And Joe brings a folder to class. Okay, now the union of these two sets would be combining all those things together. So here would be the union. I'll write it out. Sam, Union, Joe would be that they both combined have a pencil, they have a pen, they have a ruler, they have a calculator, they have a book, they have a folder. Union is combining everything they have together into one set. That's a union. That's what this picture is trying to show. Let's do an intersection of Sam and Joe now. So I'll write that over here. Let's say I have Sam intersecting with Joe. What do both these guys have in common? Well, let's see. They both have a pencil and they both have a ruler. So if I intersect their sets, the only thing they have in common is a pencil and a ruler. 
That's the difference between union and intersection. Union is combining everything together into one big set. Intersection is combining what they have in common in one set. Let's uh, try one together. Let me get these layers off. And I tell you what, we're going to try this together. So I tell you what, take your book, and I want you to, or take a sheet of paper, let's cover this up so we can't look at the answers. I'm trying to highlight it here. Let's cover this up so you're not looking at the answers. And let's do this problem together. It says, let the universal set be the set of integers from 1 to 9. Let set A be the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and set B be the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7. Find A union B. Well, let's do that first. A union B means we're combining both sets together. So remember, use braces, and what do these sets have? Well, they, they have a 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 5, and 7. So let me write those out. I'll put them in order. We have a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's the union of both sets. That I took both sets and just combined them into one big set. Intersection is different. Intersection is combining what the sets had in common. So let's check. Set A has a 2 and so does set B. But you notice none of the other elements are in common. So the intersection of these two sets would simply be 2. Functions and sets. Now, we've worked with functions in Chapter 1. We've worked with domain and range in Chapter 1. You can write functions using set notation. Here is domain listed in set notation. They're saying my domain is the set 1, 2, 3, 5. In other words, those are the numbers that I could input into the function. Here's my range. And maybe I'm going to quickly draw a little picture. What you're seeing here, the way these are written, would be the same as me writing a table and putting that my domain is 1, 2, 3, 5, and that my range is 2, 3, 3, can you see how what they have drawn here is what I have in my table picture? We can also write the function in set notation. What I have written here is the exact same thing that my table is saying. It's just in function notation. So you can see in my table, if I input 1, my output's 2 in function notation. The function would equal, well, one element would be the ordered pair 1, 2, just like I have written here. Or 2, 3, and you can see here in function notation, input 2, output 3, and then you can see 3, 3, and so on. Let me get my drawing out of there. This is called writing the domain, range, and function in set notation. And then the last part to talk about here would be, you'll see in the homework today, in the book work, they're going to ask you to write a function and its range as set. So look at this example. Consider the function, the output is 2 more than the input with this domain, 0, 1, 2, 3. Write the range and function using set notation. So they write a table first. They're going to put 0 in here, 0 plus 2 is 2. So input 0, output 2. If they input 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, input 1, output 3, and so on. So here's your table. They didn't want you to write the answer as a table, though. They want you to write it in set notation. So here's the function. Can you see input 0, output 2, input 1, output 3, input 2, output 4, input 3, output 5. But you notice they, the answer isn't written as a table. It's written in set notation. So that's the correct way to write it today. And now what's my range? Can everybody see the range right here? 2, 3, 4, 5. But when you write it, the book wants you to write it in set notation, which would look in this manner. The range is 
you know, the braces, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the video.